Welcome guys to lesson eight, everything confirms presence. So previously we've discovered that our seeming obstacles are not actually obstacles, they actually consist of presence. Now the emphasis of lesson eight will be on actually learning to utilize your everyday experience as a direct reflection of presence, as a direct confirmation of presence, so that you in a sense make it easier on yourself to become more grounded in the realization in the conviction, from doubt to conviction, in the conviction of presence. Because now it's not just only you believing or not believing in presence or being convinced of it, it's actually shown to you by your every single appearance that appears inside of your consciousness, that appears as part of your life stream, so to speak. So just um, to use one analogy that I'll use in this lesson, and to include that in this video, let's say you're standing in front of a jewelry store and you're uh, witnessing all this gorgeous jewelry on the other end, the other side of the glass. So you're obsessed with the price tag, you're obsessed with the gold, you're obsessed with the form, the shape, who designed it, etc. In other words, you're obsessed with the story, you're obsessed with the story of the experience. That's the analogy for it. So you're obsessed with the form of it, the names, the labels. And now a pigeon flies right behind your head, like three feet away from your head, 50 miles an hour, you're in the city and this pigeon flies right behind your head and you feel the wind trail swoosh against your head and you see in the reflection of the mirror, you catch this glimpse and you're sort of startled. And now that you're startled, you remember again that, hey, I have a body, I'm in the city and I'm standing in front of a jewelry store. So within the same space experience, you just went from being absorbed in the story, in the tunnel vision of thought and labels, concepts, to being startled awake, noticing again that you exist. And now when you look in that same window, the same line of sight, the same space of being, there's no difference. The experiences are both there, the jewelry is still there, and you're still there. But now when you look in the window, what you see is your own face's reflection. And so you can actually either focus beyond the glass into the form and shape of the jewelry, or you can relax for two to five seconds that focused attention and simply rest in what's already here and notice that experience reflects what's already here, which is your face right there, your presence right there. So in this way and in a few other ways, uh, during this lesson, you'll start to utilize every single experience as a powerful, potent confirmation of presence so that it becomes your most intimate, immediate, every nanosecond teacher. Have fun.